Hi guys, this is the Java series. Now let's discuss about the Glone method. Okay, this method is present inside the Cloneable interface. Okay, this interface is present inside the Java.language package. So what is the use of Glone? It is used to return the copy of the object. Okay. Let's see this example. Here I have created the class. This is my class name. Implements. Loanable. Here I have used the implements keyword. Why? Because this is the interface, not the class. Okay. That's why I have used the implements keyword instead of the extends keyword. Okay. Inside of the cloneable, we have the clone method. That method is used to return the copy of the object. Okay. And here I have created two variables, roll number and name. Roll number, data type is integer, name, data type is string. So what is this? This is the parameterized constructor, isn't it? Here, this is the name of the class. Okay, constructor name should be same as the class name. And here, I have the parameters. So, what type is this? This is the parameterized constructor. And here I have used the, this keyword. We know already this is used to refer the current class reference. Okay. This dot roll number is equal to the parameter value. Likewise, this dot name. This is belongs to this class and this name is this parameter value. Okay. And I have created the main method. Execution starts only from the main. And inside this main method, I have implemented the try catch. I have implemented the exception handling to maintain the execution flow of the program. Okay. In order to avoid the runtime errors. Okay. Here, inside the try block, we have to place the suspicious code. If any error is raised to means this catch block is responsible to handle the error which are raised inside the try block. Okay. And this is the blown not supported exception. Okay. One of the inbuilt exception class. Okay. Here, I have created two objects, S1 and S2 for the same class okay my child class and this is the interface and here new keyword is used to do create the memory for s1 during the execution of the program and uh, this is our parameterized constructor okay so after encounter this line the control carries these values and jumps from the 23rd line to the parameterized constructor here Okay, and this 101 will be stored inside the roll number and amit will be stored inside the name. Okay, and then roll number name will be initialized with the help of the value of roll number and name that is 101 and amit. Okay, and the control again jumps back from the 12th line to the 25th line. Here, this is our second object for the same class but here i have used the clone method so this method is used to create a copy of this object okay this method is used to create the copy of this object okay that will be stored inside this new object okay and this is the casting okay so it returns the copy of the object inside the round brackets i passed in the name of the class okay casting is done here okay and uh, the copy of s1 will be stored inside the new object s2 okay and the values of s1 and s2 will be printed on our console with the help of the println method. Okay, s1 dot roll number, s1 dot name, the s1 values of roll number and name will be stored inside the s2. So, the same values, roll number 
and the name will be printed on our console. Okay. Here I have used the exception class. Clone not supported exception. If any error is occurred means this is responsible to handle the error which is raised inside the try block. Okay. That inbuilt error will be displayed on our console. I hope you all understood about the execution flow of this program. Okay. Let me execute this one. So, this is the output for this one. S1 roll number, S1 name. Okay. Due to this loan method, the values of S1 is copied inside the S2. That's why we got the same value for S2. Okay. S2 dot roll number and S2 dot name. Okay. So, this clone method is used to return a copy of the object. So, loanable is nothing but the interface. This is present inside the java.language default package. Okay. So, inside the loanable, we have the loan method. Here, I have implemented the inheritance concept. This class implements cloneable. So, with the help of this object, we can call the method which is present inside the cloneable interface. Got it? We have completed this session. If you have any doubts, drop the message on the comment section. If this video is useful to you, like and share. For more videos, subscribe my channel. Hit the bell icon, then only you will get the notification for my new updates. Have a nice day. Thank you.